Hello everyone. Welcome to Mojo for Industry, India's first mobile journalism platform for industry. Frudenberg Group develops leading edge technologies and products and services for about 40 markets globally and for thousands of applications including seals, vibration control components, technical textiles, filters, cleaning technologies and products, specialty chemicals and medical products. Today in this episode of Industry Unplugged, we welcome Mr. George Graff, Frudenberg Regional Representative for India to give us more details about the company's plans to increase footprint in Indian market. Welcome Graf. Welcome. Graf, uh, could you talk about the company's business activities in India? Customers in India since uh, almost one century, 1920. Uh, today we have 13 companies uh, which are represented in India uh, with production centers, sales and services. Uh, and uh, we have also a couple of research and development centers. Uh, Freudenberg serves most industries in India, including automotive, energy and chemical, medical and pharmaceutical, textile, clothing, very important in India, mechanical and plant engineering, as well as consumer markets. In India, we cater to over 40 uh, market segments, what you have mentioned also. Uh, Freudenberg Eight business groups in India have a total workforce of around 3,000 people at uh, around 50 locations, running six uh, R&D centers and uh, 14 production sites uh, with state-of-the-art shop floors. We have wonderful, wonderful factories here in India. The key success factor for our commitment uh, to excellence in technology, innovation and quality in products, in processes, and in services is also a factor here in India. Success for Freudenberg always means to be successful in business, but also to take care on social activities and the life and society around us. Our flagship activity is a training center in the south of Tamil Nadu. After the tsunami, we have established an ITI. We train young people from the region in technical vocational training and in life skills. So we can provide them a basis for their life and the opportunity to generate a sustainable income and to have a better future. Frutenberg is caring about the future. Globally, Frutenberg Group recorded sales of Rs. 75,305 crore in 2020. How has been the contribution of Indian market? as sales showed a 16% dip last year, last calendar year. For business groups producing for the automotive sector, this is our focus activity within in our Indian entities, textile and mechanical engineering sectors, the economic environment globally and in India at the beginning of 2020 was extremely challenging. In addition, to an almost stagnating economy at the end of 2019. And the transformation in mobility, specifically in the automotive sector, which is our key industry, has led our seven of 10 global business groups having to contend with, in some cases, sizable losses. In contrast, three business groups have experienced a positive impact on their business. Freudenberg Home and Cleaning Solutions, Gala, here in India, is benefiting from a more stringent hygiene measure. And Freudenberg Filtration Technologies was benefiting from the launch of mass production and, you know, all this debate about aerosols. What, what else we have talked about aerosols and how an aerosol will, uh, will spread. I have seen a recent KPMG study stating that uh, for most of the business, India contributes a very small portion only. This stands for Freudenberg too. But the expectation that this share will grow and grow in a very dynamic way is part of every strategy, also part of our strategy. However, I feel it might take a few years to reach now again the pre-crisis level. 
overall, I would say, and uh, maybe you can take this as a sort of a tagline, I think we, the global technology group Freudenberg, has managed the crisis 2021 well, maybe a bit better than our peers. So, Graf, uh, what are the growth areas to look for while you're talking about the ambitious plan or amb ambitious target to achieve in Indian market? Freudenberg intends to continue investing in long-term projects. The changes what we see in mobility, in digitalization, in sustainability solutions will continue to remain very important strategic topics for us. The pace of technological and digital change continues to accelerate, especially the fundamental transformation of the automotive industry driven by e-mobility. The macroeconomic environment in 2021 and years to come will remain very challenging. Geopolitical and economic uncertainties are unlikely to ease. Against this backdrop, it is very important. I would say it is imperative that businesses should be very cautious in planning for the coming years. And they should anticipate subdued business performance, especially in the automotive markets. As a supplier to automotive industry, we depend on production from OEMs globally and in our regional Indian market. In India, driven by customer demand in global and local supply chains, automotive is an important market, but there is more in India. The rapidly globally globalizing world is opening newer avenues for the transportation industry, especially while it makes a shift towards electric, electronic and hybrid cars, which are seen more efficient, safe and reliable modes of transportation, all these buzzwords which comes along. Over the next decade or so, this will lead to newer verticals and opportunities for auto component manufacturers like Freudenberg, who would need to adapt to change via a systematic research and development. Uh, for me, uh, very important is one phrase I have learned. India is the youngest connected democracy in the world. I talked, there's more in India. And I'm take, talking about value-based parameters, youngest connected democracy in the world. And this is increasingly being considered as a preferred partner in manufacturing across industries. Make in India is still alive. In Freudenberg, we are in manufacturing. While ease of doing business, transparency and e-governments has shown considerable improvement, skills development, and I talked about our training center, skills development and technical training needs further investment. And this field, in this field, all of us, I guess, we have to do more. We are just at the very beginning. Companies are realizing that India is more than a consumption market, but it is also a manufacturing and a R and D hub. And it allows foreign companies like Freudenbergs and all the German MNCs, for example, to create and export products to other markets in this region as well. Automotive uh, remains a key business area for Fudenberg, uh, whether it's in India or globally. How the transformation in mobility, especially with the introduction of uh, electric mobility, is driving your business? Freudenberg's goal in India to offer customers in the passenger car and commercial vehicle industry excellent technologies and innovative products, as well as services. I have to add, there is more than just uh, the automotive sector in India. Very interesting uh, mechanical and plant engineering, textile apparel, construction, mining, heavy industry, energy, chemical, oil and gas industry, medical, uh, civil aviation and, and rail vehicle also. Everything uh, puts up to this uh, in, in, in mobility. But, but uh, we, as Freudenberg, as I mentioned, we want to offer excellent technology, technology 
and very innovative products as well as services along with the products. Our Viper Acoustic uh, group, for example, has new air spring systems, which provides excellent comfort and dynamic performance with actively controlled shock absorbers. The electronic control unit, including software, and the integration of the system components into a full vehicle systems. This has already gone uh, into uh, production at a European premium car brand. And the new mobility, e-mobility, everything is about reach and comfort. And I think here it is visible that we can add a lot of value. A number of growing uh, customers are switching to an innovative release agent from Chemtrend. Chemtrend is a part of Freudenberg Chemical Specialities. This came then for the die casting parts used in the automotive industry. Based on a specific silicon polymer, this release agent not only achieves productivity gains, gains for our customers, value addition for our customers, and the user's downtimes, but also improves the surface quality of the parts. Wherever a lot of Computing is performed or high currents flow, large amount of waste heat are generated. Another, is, uh, another example is uh, within our Freudenberg seating technologies. They have developed a new material that combines contradictory properties. For example, it conducts heat well, but is also electrically insulating. The company is already testing initial applications for charging sockets, control units, and batteries in electric cars. Infiltration, the Micron Air Protect line, cabin air filters from Freudenberg filtration technologies reduce the concentration of aerosols and thus also protect against viruses. This is achieved by a unique multi-layer design that filters environmental gases as well as inorganic and biological particles and aerosols. So with this constant focus on technology, I think the Freudberg companies in India have diversified their operations, adopted flexible business strategies and pursued opportunities across product lines to raise their profitability. At the end of the day, it's about business and to grow their market share. They are innovators and leaders building a successful future for their employees, for us, their customers, and the communities. What are some of your expansion plans to increase footprint in Indian market? Could you be a little specific about your expansion plans as well? Companies are realizing and um, as the past president of the Indo-German Chamber of Commerce, I'm happy that this is true also for the German companies. Companies are realizing that India is more than a consumption market. India is also into manufacturing. India is an R&T hub and allows foreign companies like Freudenberg to create and export products to other markets in this region and above the region. Being present in India with a considerable footprint means these companies will also be accepted players in value-adding global supply chains. I think it's very, very important. And you have not asked about the self-reliant uh, uh, India, but my understanding is it is not to, to close and to lock the gates and the doors. It means to be an active partner in the global world with our, with our considerable talents, what we can uh, provide here uh, out of India. We all, we all can be very optimistic, but currently I would say we have to be realistic too. I've mentioned ease of doing business, transparency, e-governance has shown a lot of improvement, but still your question also, skill development, technical training needs further investment. And this will take this will take some time. India for me always means patience and relations. Always have this in mind. India is patience and relations. As a supplier to automotive industry, we depend on production from OEMs, 
mainly driven by customer demand and global and local supply chains. Automotive is an important market, but there is more in India. I mentioned about this. We will grow with our customers and customer centricity in this context is a focus topic. The uh, globalizing world is opening a lot of uh, new avenues for us. And over the next uh, couple of years, uh, we will add a lot of value in uh, this uh, region. Uh, the macroeconomic environment in 2021 and during the next year will remain challenging. But Freudenberg intends to continue investing in long-term projects. And if you continue to invest in long-term projects as a manufacturing company, it is clear you have to also invest not only in workforce, but also in factories. The mobility transformation, digitalization, and a huge expansion in sustainable solutions, solutions will, which uh, add value at our customer side, will remain central components of Freudenberg's strategy in India as well. Thank you, Mr. George Graf, for being on our show today and explaining Freudenberg's commitment to Indian market. Thank you Thank for you. giving me the opportunity. Yeah. With that, it's wrap on today's Industry Unplugged with Mr. George Kraft, Frudenberg Regional Representative, India. Mm -hmm.